Yeah, I mean, obviously a uh, very interesting weekend from, uh, you know, the Malaysian airliner that's still missing to obviously the very, very troubling events in Crimea. The, <laughs> the quote, vote uh, in Crimea yesterday make a uh, Chicago look in, uh, election look actually legitimate. Uh, so obviously with 96% of the vote uh, going for uh, wanting to leave Russia, Crimea is going to formally appeal to the Russian uh, parliament to uh, make them a part of Russia. They're going to switch to the ruble, and this thing's uh, obviously getting uglier. Uh, there was reports about some Russian troops uh, seizing a natural gas facility in eastern uh, Ukraine. So now we have news reports of Putin not just being happy with uh Crimea, but maybe even using the same rationale that, hey, there's a lot of ethnic Russians in eastern Ukraine, so we probably need some of that too, just like he did in Georgia in 2008. And of course, the president is going to say stop, or he'll say stop again. Um, and then, of course, the Senate and our Congress will wave their angry finger, and uh, they're talking about sanctions maybe when they get back from vacation on March 24th. So it's just, it's an absolute joke, folks, that uh, uh, when we leave, um, the world leadership stage, that vacuum is filled with bad actors, whether it be a rising China who is going to wake up one day empowered by what Putin's done and take back Taiwan uh, to Russia, who uh, has uh, bolder gains here. This guy isn't going to stop uh, in Crimea, in, in my opinion. So, however, comma, futures are actually indicating a little bit higher. Uh, futures are up. Uh, a, a New York uh, manufacturing uh, region gauge uh, showed a pickup in, in activity. Futures are uh, up as I'm recording this, and Asia was mixed overnight. Uh, the um, Nikkei is still uh, just bleeding like it uh, needs a tourniquet. It's at one month lows right now. The Shanghai was actually up. So with a mixed Asia, I think the United States, I think we're going to get a relief rally this week, but we do have an action-packed week, folks. We have... Um, a lot of stuff going on. Love those ads. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on uh, today. We're going to see some cap rate and industrial uh, production. And uh, Tuesday, we're going to see a lot of housing this week, folks. Uh, building permits, some CPI, housing starts. We also have a two-day Fed meeting on the 18th and 19th. So on the 19th, we're actually going to get uh, the FOMC statement. We obviously know what the Fed funds rate is going to be. I can fill it that blank. But obviously the uh, economic projections, uh, projections and what uh, the Fed says they're going to do. Obviously, I think the taper is going to, uh, you know, down to $55 billion. I think we're going to stair-step this thing down at 10 a month. And I think that's factored in. I think the market's going to see that as a relief. Uh, weekly unemployment claims, existing home sales, the Philly Fed, the conference board's leading index on Thursday. So a big day on Thursday. And then Friday is uh, – absolutely quiet. Okay. Um, so it's going to be a big housing week in my opinion, but uh, I'm getting ready to knock out our weekly options, uh, live trade brief. And if you're interested in our weekly options program, last week sucked. I mean, obviously a couple of our weekly positions got hammered. Two of them did, but we had a max profit on an Apple iron condor. Apple really holding up well in all this market volatility, just kind of moving sideways. So we're going to look at another iron condor on that, but we're going to look at two bullish double verticals, one on Google and one on SPX. I think the market has a relief rally this week. The fact that our futures did implode on the Crimea vote and Asia held steady tells me that uh, I think this week's going to be used as a buying opportunity. So we're about to get uh, bullish in our uh, weekly options live trade brief, but we also have hedges on via the VIX and via um, SDS and gold in our other portfolios that keep us safe. So even if that weekly options model portfolio is whipping all over the place, uh, at least we're, uh, we're hedged in other areas as well. If you're interested in trading weekly options with us, go to topgunoptions.com slash wo dash training okay obviously weekly options is wo dash training so go to topgunoptions.com slash wo dash training and you can get on board today before we took a shellacking last week the week before that we were up 15 grand the week before that the model portfolio was up 11 grand and we lost about six last week so uh, net net we're still looking uh, about 20 grand in about three weeks uh, averaging about six thousand dollars a week in profit so we're still looking pretty good in the weekly options portfolio even though last week was uh, and, and i'm glad last week's happened happen because it tells investors and traders at Top Gun Options that those weeks happen and you have got to be hedged uh, and we are going to get kicked in the gut sometimes but it's a lot less 
um, if you're hedged and, and you're properly trading. Okay, so uh, go to that link, get on board, join us uh, today, and uh, I'm going to have a great week trading here. We're out here in Vail, Colorado for spring break, so I'm going to have a great time skiing and trading. So happy hunting, make sure you hedge, and have a great week. I'll be back with Friday's Market Outlook here at Wealth Creation Investing. We'll see you.